star roller derby player remembered by the community she loved. Her life taken Saturday when a plane hit her car on the 15. 10 News reporter Emily Thode live at a memorial service for Tony Isbell. Emily. This is where Tony skated with the San Diego Roller Derby four years. Now the media was not allowed inside for the memorial. It was private, but her friends came out. They opened up to us about this strong woman with a big heart. <laughs> she was a really loyal friend and she was always there for anybody who needed her at any time at a drop of a hat. She would stop what she was doing and help out. Inga Robinson crying for her good friend Tony Rockalicious Isbell. It's so sad. I feel so bad for her dad. <laughs> she was the light of his eyes and he was the light of hers. A memorial for Tony at Skate World in Linda Vista. She skated with the San Diego Roller Derby number 13. I came a couple times and she would be out there on that thing going around. We'd be hollering, go Rockalicious, go! As a player, she always was uh, team first. Always asked what I needed her to do. Took a step up when she needed to. Tony killed Saturday. A small plane crashed into the car she was in on the I-15 north of Escondido. Three other players in the car, hurt, expected to recover. Jason, Vanilla Gorilla Sule, Aaron, Rowdy Rodbender McCain, and Emily, witchy wife, Bo Miller Hotch. The memorial, also a fundraiser. Their loss of income because they can't work right now, the medical expenses, their families, you know, they are the supporters and the caregivers. Tony's number, Lucky 13, retired. And she's going to be missed and loved for sure. And her uncle tells me that this is the second out of nowhere tragedy that the family's endured. When Tony was eight years old, he tells me her mother was killed crossing the street by a car out of nowhere. And um, that's just a, that happened in the South Bay. I'm live in Linda Vista, Emily Thode, 10 News.